Hello everyone. Today I wanted to show you my Bougainvillea bonsai. It is of the pink pixie type and has pink flowers. I got it back in the spring from a nursery, a very small nursery stock. I've done very minimal pruning. It started to have some flowers. Um, it wasn't really much taller than it is now. I cut it back and trimmed it a little bit around the edges. But I haven't done a lot with it. I've got a shape in mind. Actually, I'm going to grow it to look like a maple tree that I knew of. I always seen it in my grandmother's backyard. It was a big, beautiful one. It was very short, but with a massive trunk. I couldn't even put my arms around it. And already, this is headed in the direction that that tree was shaped. Obviously, I'm far from what that maple tree looked like. But I'm hoping in years I, I'll eventually get there. I still haven't moved the thorns from the trunk yet. I'll get there one of these days. It's not much to not much to show you on it right now as it's very young. It's got a long way to go. Right now I'm likely going to be growing it out until the spring. I found a pot for it. At the same nursery there are some pots on sale so I picked this one up for it. It seems to suit it fine. I'll probably leave it in this pot until something happens to it. I would say it's probably about 8 inches tall. Now I want to show you another tree of mine. Now I'm going to show you this little guy. And he's actually from my backyard and grew out of my hedge. And it is a Manitoba maple. There's another uh, little bonsai tree that I had bought in, from a store quite a while back that came in this pot. I had it sitting around so I decided to put this little Manitoba maple in here. So I thought it had some interesting movement when I pulled it out from in my hedge. I cut off the main trunk. I cut it way back actually till about, well, it's probably about five inches tall. And I was hoping for some back budding to happen and sure enough one came out right in a good spot actually. So it's it's taken off from right in the right in the 90 there and I'm not going to be touching this tree till the springtime at least I'm going to give it time now to get itself ready for its big sleep and over winter and hopefully it will come back in the spring so I'll give you guys some updates on that in the springtime well have a great day guys